OK, so let's think about the title and fundamentally why the title is so important, whether it's in a, a lab report, whether it's in a review paper, whether it's in a literature review, whether it's even in, in, in the project it, it itself. Why is the title so fundamentally important? And and what are the inherent do's and don'ts of title formatting and title design? Well, the key thing here is think about the wording. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to sell the idea of your, your study, whatever that is. And so to do that, the first thing to think about is you want it to be both specific so in other words, that people can read it and they understand straight away that there is no ambiguity. And that is something that is fundamental in terms of what we do in science. We cannot use ambi ambiguous words or phrases. Science is about discovery. So science is about being clear in what we are both doing, that might be in the methods, but also in what we are reporting in terms of our findings. So if we use terminology that is ambiguous, and in other words, it is not clear what we necessarily mean by it, then the reader won't be able to follow what your story is and what it is you're trying to get across. So use words that are very clear. Now, if you want to learn a bit more about words and taxonomy, then go to one of the other sections as part of these kind of um, little um, snapshot videos, which talks about wording within a, within reports. You've got to get across this um, title. You don't want it to be too long. So that's something, you know, you don't want you know, lines and lines of information. It wants to be fairly snappy, but you don't want it to be pithy. You've got to get across specific information. So think about the fact that what you're trying to do is you're trying to you're trying to convey what happened. So, th you know, for example, um, what are the kind of the key areas that the, the study has focused on? So, if you've done a study, for example, which is on beetroot juice, and you, you you're looking at the effects of beetroot juice on um, high intensity interval training, then quite clearly the title would have to mention both beetroot juice and high intensity interval training. But that doesn't tell us everything because that could just simply be beat reduce and high intensity interval training. We need to be more specific. So what did we do? So was it an acute dose of beat juice? In other words, did they just drink the beetroot juice and then do the, the, the hit training? Or was it maybe a chronic dose? That is, they drank the beetroot juice over a number of days and then did the hit training. And then I was talking about the they. Who is they? So the they is the population. So one of the things you have to think about is, is that you have need to be clear in your in your title who the population is that were actually part of the study. Because if I read that paper and it goes, um, the effects of beetroot juice on high intensity interval training, or, or you know, the effects of an acute dose of beetroot juice on high intensity interval training, it doesn't tell me whether that was in males or females. It doesn't tell me whether that was in children, whether that was in adolescents, whether it was in the elderly, a COPD population, you need to be really specific because clearly different populations, we're, we're trying to find out different things. So make that clear. And then the final thing is a, 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 a title doesn't have to be a question. It could be a statement. And you'll see this here. So here we've got examples of, in essence, doing the same study, but presented both as questions and statements. So the first one is, it's a statement, the role of sprint speed and change of direction in a group of sports and exercise science students. So you can see it's not a question, whereas the second one is the question, is sprint speed associated with change of direction ability in a group of sport and exercise science students? Now let's deal with those two very quickly. Remember what, what I've been saying is firstly, you've got to get the themes across. So I gave the analogy before of beetroot juice and hit, sprint speed, change of direction. We talked about who the population was. Well, here it's sport and exercise science students. So both the first two examples are conveying that one is asking it as a question, one is writing it as a statement. Both work. And one of the things to think about is when you're when you're putting these together is make sure 
that your title contains words that appear in the actual report itself. So don't suddenly just throw something new into the title. The third example is, 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 is moving away from association. It's going, well, okay, is there a difference? So that's fine. But it's saying again, we've got the theme, sprint speed. But can you see now? It's gone a little bit further. It's saying males and females. So it's actually saying, is, is there a difference between males and females? Where the first two haven't conveyed that for us. So to kind of summarize where we're at, what you need to think about is making sure that the title conveys the key information that it talks about or works about the, the, the population, the themes. You can have it as a statement or a question and it is not ambiguous.